Okay. Um, this is a poem I've uh, been working on for 12 years, and uh, it was started off as a, a birthday poem for Martin Joseph, the preacher's speaker, on his 50th birthday. I just let you know that was a dozen years ago. Uh, but I've been working on it ever since. <clears throat> it's called "For Martin in This World of Bullshit." Ah, oh, Martin. The American Republic seems dark to you. Rich guys own the keys to communication. The wise guys of TV focus on trivialities to distract the public from swindles that take place every day right in front of us. Oh yes, fair brother. Corporations shape the information that defines the ways we see the world. And most of us who are doing okay, most of us citizens who are well enough off, we go along, we go along, not admitting to ourselves that the wool is being pulled over our eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, geez, at least this winter we're planning a fine vacation. It has happened for centuries. The winners write the histories. The conquered are described as less than human, like Indians, like wetbacks. We watch bitter circuses while they poison the land, pay as little as possible, and steal what's left behind. It all appears so hopeless, so hard to swim against so upstream. What is worse, we sometimes even swallow it ourselves. Bullshit it again. Ah, but there is you, Martin. The ultimate contradiction to this theft is you, is you, sweetheart. Without you, this world would be packed up and sold. Martins, like you, have been discouraged. Inquisition seek the Martins out to step on them, silence them any way possible, because, because, because they gum things up. They fart in the face of the controllers. Hmm. <laughs> Rulers control the world and exterminate crowds of souls. Yet you pop up, I hope you don't mind me saying this, as an unruly strand of hair in George Bush's asshole. <laughs> Maybe the well-funded symphony orchestra contains one or two Martins, or Martinas, Martinellos, Martinachos, who blow wild jazz notes that are dissonant, dissident, full of heart, and which ruin the Star Spangled Banner. Now I am sad. Now I am serious. Martins dig tunnels through the layers of crap. They find secret underground faults along which the groundwater undermines dams set up to hoard the truth. Set up to hoard the truth. So that the dams finally collapse to clean the dishonored bones of the murdered collapse to wash the unremembered bones of the disappeared. Mm. Some people think you are crazy, but you are my sweet, lonely man, unrecognized brother, balding and grizzled. <laughs> I love you, Martin, and we love you too. You experience the world unlike many others do. You know the reality of the abandoned and the poor. It is you, Martin, beautiful Carino Mio. You are the contradiction in the face of the false. You are the proof that beauty is unkillable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.